Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link your Google Analytics app and web property to Google Ads. The steps are very similar to linking a standard property, but there is one important difference. Let's take a look. Before we link our app and web property to Google Ads, it's worth quickly double checking that we're using an app and web property. It's easy to tell. Just look for the app and web property label after you've selected your property in the admin area. We can see it here at the top. And I'm going to quickly show you what a standard property looks like. Let's select another property. We can see this property doesn't have the app and web property label, and it also has a third column on the right for the different reporting views. So this is a standard property. OK, let's head back to our app and web property. If you want to learn more about app and web properties, then check out the extra resources in the description below this video. And if you've discovered you're actually using a standard property, then you can also find a link to my video covering linking for standard properties in the description below this video. To link our Google Ads account to our app and web property, we need to ensure that the login we're using has edit permission in Google Analytics and administrative permission in Google Ads. If you don't have the correct level of permission for both platforms, then you won't be able to link your accounts. If this is the case, then you'll need to either ask someone who does have the correct level of permission to link the accounts, or ask them to increase the permission for your login. I already have the correct level of permission in Google Analytics and Google Ads. So I'm going to click Google Ads Linking. We can see a message saying no links yet, which means we need to link Google Ads. So let's click Link. We can now choose the Google Ads account that we want to link. If you have access to a Google Ads Manager account, then you'll see a small arrow on the left. Make sure you click on the arrow to ensure you are linking the correct account or accounts, and then click Confirm. Now we click Next. We can see that personalized advertising is enabled by default. This means that any audience lists you create in your Google Analytics app and web property will automatically become available in Google Ads. I'm going to leave this option enabled. I'm also going to leave auto tagging enabled. This will automatically pull the correct data from Google Ads into my Google Analytics reports. Now let's click Next. We can check the details and then click Submit. That's it, we've now linked Google Ads and Google Analytics. If we close the configuration panel, we can now see that our account has been linked. Now let's select Audiences to head to our reports in Google Analytics. This is where we can create new audiences which will be automatically available in Google Ads. Let's select New Audience. We can now build an audience that can be used to target our ads. Let's click Create a Custom Audience. And let's create an audience that includes people who came from an organic search and then viewed a page on our blog. Let's name the audience Organic Blog Users. Let's click to add a condition. And search for Medium. Let's select User Acquired Campaign Medium. And enter Organic as the value. Now let's click And. And click to add another condition. Let's search for Page View and select Page Location as the parameter, and enter Blog as the value. We can now save our audience and it will become available in Google Ads as a targeting option for our ads. That's it. So that's how you can link your Google Ads account to your Google Analytics app and web property.
Remember that the audience lists you create and any remarketing details you configure in Google Analytics will automatically be available in your Google Ads account. You can use events, including conversion actions in Google Ads. To do this, you will need to head to Google Ads, navigate to conversions and import the actions you'd like to use. Have you linked your app and web property to Google Ads? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.